Hello you guys, what's up? Today we are going to be focusing on complexion because I want to get a new base routine down. I do have an idea of a few different brushes and techniques that I want to play around with, so maybe this will be the one. Who knows? But I figured we could do this together and kind of figure it out. So let's go ahead and zoom in on our face. I am going to be filming this video with natural daylight so we can get a true an honest look at how my skin is. This is what it's looking like right now. I do have my skin prep on and I also added the e.l.f. Poreless Buddy Primer along with the Power Grip because I wanted to give that some time to sink into my skin before I went on with the other products. Definitely a few things I need to take into consideration when I am curating this base because of course your skin's always gonna change as well as the weather, but I think the overall end result is the same for me i just i like having that more glow from within type of look i think i at the moment have kind of drifted away from having an extreme type of highlight going on i just want it mainly to look like i have healthier skin as opposed to being like you feel me like something like that but i'm still trying to have a beat face okay don't get that twisted i'm going to start off with a hydrating concealer in the inner corners of my eyes on the outer and a bit around the nose just anywhere that I have a bit of discoloration I'm going to choose a sponge to blend this out just to see what we got actually you know what let me use a sponge on this side and a brush on this side and kind of see what I like more Honestly, I think that if I want heavier coverage on some days, a brush would kind of be the way to go because it's not absorbing as much product as a sponge would. But honestly, both sides look pretty similar. Yeah, I think I like both as of right now. Granted, I did put like the smallest amount of concealer, but still. <laughs> Let's go ahead and mix our luminizer in with our foundation because as I mentioned before I want to have an all over glowy base as opposed to having those targeted areas. I'm going to take a brush first to go and buff all of this into the skin and see the coverage that this will give me. Also you guys look at how cute these little earrings are. They're like barbed wire pearl. They're from Regal Rose and whew, I love them. So good. I honestly don't add a lot of product on my forehead. Usually I just take whatever is left over on the brush or sponge, whatever tool it is that I'm using. I'm a very expressive person. So by adding a thinner layer on my forehead, I'm kind of reducing my chances of having anything crease in those areas. I am gonna take a bit of that product and add some with a sponge on my nose. I always feel like the skin on my nose is different than the rest of my face. I also find that less is more, especially on my nose, because if I add too much, like everything just really starts to look way too cakey. It's just, it's not my, I don't like it. So a thin amount on the nose as well. And then I'm just gonna take whatever is left on that sponge all over the face to ensure that I have no brush streaks going on. So far so good. Honestly, that's not really anything too different than like what I usually do, except I guess for the brush application, but that's just something I have been playing around with and I figured if I want to get better at it, I should kind of incorporate it into a daily routine for myself. I'm going to take the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer in Bronzed Bell. I also feel like I need to mention, because I use this product along with the other shade I have very often in my videos, and I always refer to Bronze Bell as my contour. Let it be known that this is still pretty warm as a contour. I kind of prefer something a bit warmer, which I get is very confusing because essentially you want your contours to be a bit more cool toned because it's meant to cast a shadow, whereas bronzer is typically warmer to bring that warmth back into your face. I totally understand though if it's like kind of confusing. <laughs> so bear with me as I <laughs> go through this journey. <laughs> I'm gonna take this brush, which I honestly, I don't even know how to describe it, but it, can you see that? 
I don't know, I don't do this. Anyway, okay, and this is what it looks like. Basically something a little more smaller and more controlled to really help in getting into all those little fine areas. And so I feel like this is gonna be nice to cream contour because it's gonna fit right up in that cheekbone. I'm gonna work this in to the palm of my hand. You guys, I have been obsessing. Like, I don't even think that begins to describe it, but absolutely adoring Julia Adams. Her videos are just so beautiful and like, it truly calms you down like no other and I'm a big fan. I saw that she would place the products that she would use on the palm of her hand and I was like, oh, that's so interesting. But she mentioned that it's because it like warms it up and I'm like, oh my God, genius. Why have I never done that before? So from here on out, palm of the hand, baby, right here. <laughs> so let's go ahead and work that product in. And then I'm going to, you know, identify where I want to make that placement and just begin to pat it on. I am going to take my sponge and go right over top just to make sure there aren't harsh lines. Yeah, I feel like that looks really nice. Very natural and subtle enough that it's still giving me that definition I want, but it's not all up in your face. I'm going to take a pinch on the forehead just to bring a bit of dimension in these areas and i'm also going to add this in this direction on my temples i probably shouldn't have done my brows but whatever i've seen people do this because it really helps in giving a lifted effect the thing that i struggle with when it comes to this is i don't really have like a lot of space between my brow and my hairline so i'm kind of like I don't know, let's just try it out. <laughs> I'm like literally going on top of my brow. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's kind of, it's doing something. I don't know, can you tell? Between the same side. Oh, this is going on way easier over here. This is always like my easier side to do when it comes to eyes, face, whatever it is, like it's just so much easier on this side. I don't know why. Oh my god, but why do I kind of love that? This is, honestly, this looks like snatched over here. This too, but you know, this one, like, it looks like I kind of struggled because I did. <laughs> when it comes to my nose, honestly, it's always a work in progress. Like, I don't really know what I'm doing. Like, that looks really aggressive. My goal is to always kind of make the end of it look a little more like and lifted, but I just, I don't know. I feel like with my actual no shave, it's a bit difficult to work around. I don't know. I'll figure it out one day, but for now I just, honestly, I don't even know. <laughs> Go in with another layer of concealer. And I also don't want this to be an extreme highlighted effect. I want it a bit more toned down, but still to add dimension onto my face. I'm gonna take the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Cool Nude. I am mainly focusing it on the center of my face because I want to bring this forward. And because I've added those shadows on the perimeter of my face, it's all bringing that illusion. Illusion? Effect? Vibe? Into play. <laughs> I am going to take a little bit more right on the edge of my eye and pull it up. Just give that a little cleanup. For this, I am gonna blend it out with my sponge just to ensure a nice seamless blend. All right, this is what we're looking like. I won't lie, I feel like I kind of went a little heavy with that second layer. Like I'll probably add less next time, but I'm not mad at this. I just feel like I kind of made myself look a little paler than I would have liked, <laughs> but we still have to go in with powder bronzer. So I think I'll be okay for now. To begin setting the skin, I honestly, I don't think this is gonna change too much. I'm still gonna go in with a pressed powder underneath my eyes as a first base. 
And then I do believe that I'll go in with some loose powder later on. Now let's go on to powder bronzers. So I'm gonna take a much fluffier brush when applying this because I wanted it to be more blown out. But I am still keeping it above that contour line because if I go below it, I'm just gonna be casting shadow in an area that I don't wanna shadow and it's gonna look a bit off. I am gonna go in with a contour powder just to reinforce those shadows. And this is an e.l.f. highlighting brush, which I really have been enjoying because it's nice and tapered and the little point gets right in that hollow. I'm also going to be taking that same contour onto my nose to bring a bit more definition. Now I'm going to go in to some loose powder and very lightly just clean up any areas that I feel kind of got lost with the bronzer. I need to be careful because I can be heavy handed when I do this. So yeah, this is kind of where things can start to look a little too much, but let's hope today won't, won't go like that. I'm really enjoying this lift that we've created. So I do want to enhance that a little bit more. Now I am gonna dust this off. I don't want this sitting for too long. And you can kind of take that excess powder and run it over those edges of the bronzer to help soften it out a bit. Honestly, I feel like the skin is looking very nice and natural right now. Like you can see that I have makeup on, but it's not looking excessive. You can still see some of the blemishes I have, some of the discoloration, but I like that. It gives it, you know, a much more real effect because, it, well, it is real, you know, that's just my skin. Let's go ahead and add some blush. Actually, before I do that, I'm just gonna add highlight down the nose. That is same old, same old. I kind of want to do a mix of these two. This is the e.l.f. Primer Infused Blush in Always Rosy, which is so different than what I tend to go for because I love peachier blushes. But I don't know, this one has just really been like speaking to me lately and I've been really loving it every time I have been applying it. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go in with this one. And on top of that, I'll add the Milani Cheek Kiss in Nude Kiss to give a really juicy and nice sheen onto our cheeks. The e.l.f. Primer Infused Blushes are pretty pigmented, so if you are going to use this, be very careful because it can look kind of patchy if you apply a very heavy amount. So I do recommend, you know, patting your brush into it and just shaking that product off as much as you can. Using this angled brush, which I used to use for contouring, but I like how it's kind of hugging my cheek because it's making sure that I'm not really falling below anything. like. Nice, like it. For the cream blush, I am just gonna use that on my sponge. And I'll focus this a little higher up, like as if I was kind of applying my highlight. All right, here's a close up of my skin. Honestly, I feel like this looks very, very nice and it doesn't feel heavy by any means. Like I mentioned, you can see some of my natural skin peeking through. I personally do like that. I don't feel like it looks cakey around the nose. I do have a little bit of creasing happening underneath my eyes, but that is pretty common with me. Like it's, it doesn't bother me anymore. You know, that's why I am trying to stray from applying so much product under my eyes because if I do get creasing, I just take my finger and buff that out. The nose looks pretty good. I think I went a little heavy with that powder um, contour, so go lighter with that next time. But for the rest of the skin, like everything is really flowing nicely. I don't feel like there are really harsh lines. Yeah, I'm really happy with this. There are definitely a few things that I want to play around with for next time, but this is nice. All right. <laughs> okay, I just chucked some bronzer in my crease because I felt like <laughs> my eyelids were kind of looking off. <laughs> all right, you guys. Well, that is really all I wanted to do for today's video. I hope it was enjoyable. I just, I really love working on complexion and trying out new techniques and all of that. And I hope that this didn't sound or 
appear to be repetitive because while I feel like I didn't stray that far off than what I have done or I should say what I have been doing recently the pressure that I was applying it was all a little just a little bit different and I feel like it did show like I can really see it when I look at my skin and yeah I'm excited I think this is definitely a good start to what I'm trying to get towards. That will be all for me today. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Spr oh shit. Sprun sprunge. Oh, what the hell? I just got so lightheaded. That was weird. Am I okay? Do I need water? What was that? Oh my god. I literally just felt like I was about to pass out. Okay. Literally what I'm supposed- Oh my voice just cracked.